Good evening, it's Tommy with Between the Bear and Me. Uh, let's see here. You're currently on tour with the Deer Hunter and Leprous. How's tour going? It's going really well. We're in Arizona right now. Um, it's a great lineup, and um, I think it's a, a good night for the fans because bands don't all sound like each other, and a lot of diversity and great musicians, good songs. Um, everybody's cool to be around, so yeah. We're about a week and a half into tour, and we have uh, about three weeks more to go. I looked up the set list, and you play a great deal off Automata. What's the crowd reaction been like? It's been great. I mean, I, I feel like night after night it gets a little better because people are getting a little more familiar with the new material. Um, yeah, you never really know what to expect when you when you play new stuff, and so far it's been great with the, the new album. Um, I mean, you always have to expect that the, the crowd's going to be a little, the reaction will be, or the energy will be a little more mellow when you play brand new stuff. But, um, yeah, it's been cool. I mean, the beginning of the tour, we actually, there was a few days where the album was, wasn't even out yet. So it's kind of interesting to see how it's progressed um, since day one. Um, let's discuss Automata. Is there a reason why you're releasing Automata in two parts? Uh, I mean, there's quite a few reasons. I think the main reason in my mind is um it gives our fans two different opportunities to get new music and it creates a level of excitement that is hard to create nowadays um i feel like it's one of the you know we live in a, a time where everything's instant and you get exactly what you want when you want i think there's something kind of special about creating some excitement and when you listen to one you want more and you can't get it uh, i think uh that's something that's kind of been lost and um i think it would be cool i think you know both records work well as one piece we wrote it as one piece and you know i think they hold their own in their own as well so um i mean that's one of the the few reasons why we did it it just felt right for this album there was a moment you know literally in the middle of the album that um felt like a good almost intermission and you know that was kind of we decided to do it and we you know we actually decided to do it after we had already recorded and wrote everything um next question i've noticed there are some simpler parts compared to the previous bt band material for example on some songs you use straight melody and some songs are straight heavy why did you take this approach um i mean it's not like we're one of those bands that sit down and plan out like okay we want to do this and this for the album you know things happen you know we're a very organic band and we write kind of naturally what comes to us and at those moments in the record I, I think it it took a very uh the turn it took that was very natural for us um you know we like to we like to you know when we write we're not thinking about if something's technical or melodic or you know we just write our songs and you know the, there's a lot that goes into it and it just happened to you know there were some moments where we had some shorter songs or songs that you know seemed a little more simplify compared to some of the stuff we have but i mean i think it's just part of our songwriting and our evolution as a band um i guess we're not we're trying to make the best album we can not really focusing on um being weird for the weird for the sake of being weird or being technical for the sake of being technical you know we just want to write a good album and good songs um question five as a lyricist did you take a different approach to writing the lyrics compared to the previous material um, I did actually. I mean, I've done quite a few concept records with the band, and normally I get a, you know, the storyline I have a hundred percent set in stone before I even write lyrics, and I set out a, you know, I kind of map out the entire record and and, and figure out what's going to happen in each song, et cetera. And you know, with this album, I started with a very simple idea, not knowing where it's going to take me, and um, I kind of just started at the beginning once we had a lot of material written and and kind of went for it which I've never really done before. Um, because of that, I hit a lot of walls, but at the same time, um, a lot of things kind of expose themselves that wouldn't have. And, you know, the the album, I think, has more layers than most of my stories just because of the way I approached it. And a lot of new things kind of popped its way out as I was writing it. Um, number six, you've been subconscious using subconscious and dream lyrical themes in the last couple of albums what's your inspiration i mean it's something that's always kind of inspired me i mean even our first album i have a song about dreams um so i mean i don't know i mean inspiration's a tough word just because 
it's not like I read, write, or hear something and write right then. You know, I think just certain things are in my brain that are interesting to me. And, you know, the stories I create, I just try to write something that works well with the mood of the music. I want to write something that, you know, gives you a visual aspect to what's going on and, and, and fits the, you know, the the peaks and the the moments it get it dips down and you know our music takes so many different turns and there's a lot of darkness and you know it just you know i i take a lot of notes and you know there's there's notes that popped out that were very um you know that helped me write this album and you know i think you know the music inspires me i guess is the simplest way you know that at the end of the end of the day my job is to create lyrics and a story that works with the music uh, what should fans expect from Automata Part Two? Um, I don't know. It's it's really fun. It's a, it's a little more adventurous, I would say, than the first um, experimental. Maybe I don't know, but it's it it feels really good as its own thing and with the first part. And I don't know. I think people will really latch on to it. Um, I think maybe some of our more proggier fans will be. Um, maybe more into part two than one, but I don't know. It's tough to analyze your own music, but I'm I'm looking f- forward very much so to part two being released. I think why BTBM always stood out for me is I can tell you have a lot of various musical influences, but you mix them so well with your signature style. Do you find always find new music to use as influence? Um, I constantly find music, but I don't think I I never try to find music as influence. I think influence is kind of in your DNA and you write what you write. You know, when I sit down to write, I pick up, you know, an instrument and just start messing around. And if something starts to happen, it happens. It's not, I don't write trying to base it off something I listen to. Um, I think, you know, our music's so diverse just because we all, you know, we all write and we all write very differently from one another. And we all, you know, grew up on different kinds of music and, you know, our, our our DNA is very different from one another as far as the stuff we write and um, I think that just translates into our music and you know we're all big fans of music and you know it's it's always always been something we've really deeply cared about it's safe to say BT Bam is a legendary band but your style continues to evolve how do you find new ways to reinvent yourselves I have no idea (laughs) I mean I think just like anything you know you get older you get hopefully better at what you do you you know, you learn new things, you you try new things. Um, I mean, we're always kind of on a mission to to kind of push ourselves and push each other and, and see where we can take our songs. And, you know, each record is kind of a time and place to, to show your, you know, place in music at that moment. And I, I think we, you know, we're very serious about that. You know, a, a record is very important to us. And, you know, we want to always kind of write you know write the best stuff we can and also hopefully not repeat ourselves over and over and and keep pushing the listener and ourselves number 10 you can say whatever you want (laughs) thank you for the interview um i have to go warm up for this show i'm literally playing a show in one hour so um thank you for the interview thank you to everyone that's uh you know still listening to what we do we've been doing this for a long time and we're very lucky to be able to still be doing it and playing in front of people and releasing albums. So thank you.